Thor news presents a whole lot of stuff. Fireball, new Neo, and WTF is going on with the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. All right, let's get, let's get it kicked off here. You got two meteor showers converging. Really spectacular shoe. All right, you got your annual Geminid meteor shower, and also have part of a new shower, which is from Comet Wurtanen. A magnificent display of shooting star falling comets. Grab you a honey, bundle up. And go watch. But speaking of meteors and fireballs, kind of recap the news. First of all, all right, we're going to kick it over to Sweden. Looks more like a glowing disco ball, though reports of the meteor in Sweden were reported all over. That was pretty much the only footage I could find, and it looks kind of fake. If that's real, then uh, it's not a meteor, because meteors usually fall and shoot and stuff. Now, this is Turkey. This is real. Boom! Like a bomb falling over Turkey into the Black Sea. Boom! Okay, so that's a meteor, we think. Or it could be other. Hell, it's 2012. That thing lights up like a Christmas tree. All right. So we had Sweden, and then we had Turkey, and now we're going to go to my home state, Texas. This is from the 7th. Uh, we had a odd green, orange, purple, blue fireball attached in two parts, and then let something go. Meteor? I don't know, man. Things are pretty weird nowadays. One, two, three. And then it left like a pinkish cloud. Meteor, who knows? But it was seen all along those lands. So that brings us to... We have three near-Earth objects that have been added and been found by our near-Earth object watchers. As you'll see within the solar system, there's a ton of shit. That's our inner solar system. That's a ton of shit. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Look at that, right outside of Mars. It's called the asteroid belt. That thing's fudging massive. I mean, look at all the crap that's in there. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of near-Earth asteroids in the month of December. And the new one that they just added, XB112, is 0.8 lunar distances, which means it will pass between the Earth and the Moon. Um, granted, it's only odd meters, but I think what we're more watching here is the fact that we've got an uptick of crap headed towards our way, and as you look at our diagram, uh, there's a ton of crap in outer space, but what I wonder is, don't some space rocks bump into other space rocks, and then those space rocks bump into other space rocks, so that none of these orbitals are 100% correct, you would think, but just as fragile things are, you know? Maybe you don't know. Who knows? All right. So then we got XD112. Another miss. Um, <clears throat> one thing I started lo <clears throat> noticing is when you're looking at these, all of these seem to be coming out of the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. For example, 2012 XO11. Uh, yeah, they seem to be have been disturbed and have been kicked into our orbit. And these are the three new ones. And like I said, they're coming from the asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter and then getting trapped into our orbit. Uh, so these ones are missing us, but remember, we only found these three two days ago. So yes, these meteorites that have been dislodged from the Mars-Jupiter asteroid belt we only found three days ago. So the question is, what's dislodging this crap? Where does this stuff come from? As you can see, there's a ton of crap. What is going on? Beware. Stay alert. Stay alive. God bless everyone. Have a Merry Christmas. And why won't Liz Lee tweet me back? Okay, lightsaber party dance time. Oh, and in case you didn't know, that's Venus.